Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Mama Amri Numa Abdullah My metric number is 01 dm 21 f 1042 Today I'm going to present about open loop control system uh, Introduction A control system which doesn't have any feedback connected to it is called as open loop system This type of system don't depend upon its output In open loop system, output is not used as a control variable for the system and it has no effect on the input. Open loop system are one way signal flow system as this system doesn't contain any feedback. The output is not fed back to the input. These are also known as non-feedback system. Open loop block diagram. The open loop control system block diagram is shown below. In the following diagram, the input can be given to the control system so the, the required output can be obtained. However, this obtained output cannot be considered using this system for the additional, for additional reference input. In the following system, uh, it includes two block like controller as well as the control process. Generally, the input is given to the system mainly depends on the required output. Based on the input, uh, the control signal can be generated through the controller. The signal can be given to the processing unit. Therefore, based on the control signal, appropriate processing can be performed so the output can be can be obtained. Bread toaster for open loop. The bread toaster is another simple example of an open loop control system. As the machine runs based on the preset time, period irrespective of the toasting of bread is complete or not. Objective make bread golden brown and crisps. A toaster does not measure the color of bread during the, the toasting process. For a fixed time duration setting, the toast color varies from light to dark brown when voltage fluctuate calibration. A toaster would be more expensive with sensor to measure the color and actuator and actuator to adjust the timer based on the measured color. Uh, in the figure shown below, uh, uh, it is an example of block diagram for the bread toaster. We can see that the first desired output is you want the crisps brown toast, and next process is the controller, uh, which is time control knob. Uh, the next process is control input, uh, which is the 2 minute timer, and then go to the actuator, and we get the actual output, which is Crips Brown Toast. Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Uh, my name is Muhammad Fadi B. Muhammad Noor, and my metric number 01DM21F1039. I want to present about the advantages and the advantages of open loop. The advantages of open loop control system. First, open loop control system are very simple and easy to design. Two, these are uh, considerably cheaper than other types of control system. Three, maintenance of uh, an open loop control system is very simple. For generally, open loop system are stable up to some extent. And five, this uh, this type of system are uh, easy to contest and are uh, friendly to use. Uh, advantages of open loop control system. One, the uh, bandwidth of open loop control system is less. Two, the non feedback system does not uh, facilitate, have, sorry, facilitate the process of automation. Three, open loop uh, system are uh, in a certain way in nature and also unreliable. And four, if the output is affected by some internal uh, disturbance. There is no way 
uh, to correct them automatically as this or uh, this are uh, null feedback system. Selamat sejahtera. My name is Kamenesh and my graduate channel and my matrix number is 01DEN21F1043. Today, I am going to explain about the closed loop control system. Introduction. A closed loop control system is a mechanical or electronic device that automatically regulates a system to maintain a desired state or set point without human interaction. It uses a feedback system or sensor. Closed loop control is contrast with open loop where there is no self-regulating mechanism and human interaction is typically required. Closed loop systems use feedback where a portion of the output signal is fed back to the input to reduce errors and improve stability. Closed loop control system tuning. It is important that a closed loop control system to be properly tuned for the best operation of a system. For example, if the air temperature is close to the set point of a thermostat, it may cause the system to rapidly turn the AC on and off. Such short cycling could damage the compressor and break the system. Such systems have a dampening value added to control for rapid cycling and unwanted oscillations of the output. In a closed loop, the transfer function defines the mathematical relationship between the input and the output. The change on the output by the input or the relationship between the detected sensor value is known as the gain of the, of the system. Defining the transfer function of the system based on the gain and the desired state may require careful and careful calculation for the best results. So after that, this is the closed loop block diagram. The essential block diagram represents of a closed loop control system is shown below. Based on the need of the user and the system complexity, there may be any number of feedback loops. So this is the closed loop controller. First is the reference. Reference will always be the positive. Okay. So the reference to the controller, controller to the system, and the system is to the sensor. And the sensor will back to the reference. It's the negative so this is the automatic electric iron for closed loop an automatic electric iron consists of a thermostat that acts as a controller of the system a resistive heating element is present that generates heat the salt plate of the iron instrument acts up as a process of the overall system the basic working performed by an automatic electric iron is such that when the temperature of the salt plate attains a predefined value then the heating action gets stopped automatically and when the temperature falls below a certain specified value then again heating starts inside it so it is clear that in this type of system the controlling depends on the output of the system initially in electric iron the thermostat provided with a certain specific value which acts as a reference input for the system when the input is provided to the system then the resistive heating element generates heat inside the system the leads to rising up the temperature of the iron salt through a feedback element. This output temperature is compared with the reference input of the thermostat. If the achieved output shows lesser value than the reference input, then the difference temperature actuates the thermostat and this switches on the heating element. This is certainly causes an increase in the temperature of the iron solid. Once the temperature exists, the reference value, then the heating element automatically turns off. And after a certain point of time, the temperature starts to decrease. However, the compressure still goes on and as the temperature falls below the specific value, 
the heating element again begins to rise the temperature of the solid so this is the automatic electric ion block diagram advantages and disadvantages of closed loop uh, advantages of closed loop control system first but uh, closed loop control system are more accurate even in the presence of non-linear rigidities. Two, the sensitivity of uh, the system may be made small to make the system more stable. Uh, three, the closed loop system are less affected by noise. And four, more resource efficiency. The advantages of a closed loop control system. One, closed loop control system are costly and complex. Two, the feedback in the closed loop system may lead to circulatory response. Three, the feedback reduces the overall overall gain uh, of the system. And four, certainly uh, is the major problem in the closed loop system and more care uh, is needed to design and stable closed loop system. Thank you.